Welcome back to Strange Monkey Reviews, horror freaks. I'm still trying to process what I saw so I can put all of this into words for this review. So I might as well hand this over to my good friend Mr. Death Breath. Hopefully the old woman doesn't invite him over and turn him into a delicious meal. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. Death Breath, ready spoiler for film reviews, sometimes celebrity interviews for the good. Um, what I really enjoyed about it is this film had great atmosphere. They would show distance in the woods and you'd see a low saturation of the trees and the fog and it would just look like this very terrifying area. In addition, it also had a really wonderful thing that they did where the score was very much synth inspired. So you'd hear like one note, one note, well, single notes being held out, like a boom that just conveyed the sense of dread throughout the film. So now let's get to the meat and the potatoes. Wait, we're at the meat and potatoes. Well, let's get to the meatier part of the potatoes. Ignore it. Okay, so the bad. Oh, gosh. <sighs> the bad. So how do we begin here? Uh, okay, so let's start by just being... <laughs> the story itself, really, it just... It, it, it could have been more inspired. They could have done something different. But what they did was just bad. You're watching this film, you're wondering, okay, when is it going to take shape? When is it going to get interesting? And then when it starts to get interesting, it starts losing steam. It starts losing what made it interesting. And ultimately, it's like the equivalent of kicking a ball and it's rolling fast. And as it's rolling, it starts kind of slowly rotating and the rotations are getting less and less and it kind of just stops at the other person's feet, right? That's what this kind of felt like. It felt like it had an interesting start and it just kind of went nowhere. And understand, don't at me, please. Don't be like, you haven't read Hansel and Gretel. This isn't about that. We're talking about this movie. And it just wasn't good. It didn't go anywhere. The climax, if you even want to call it that, was barely a climax. It did have a few jump scares here and there that were semi-okay and, and some scary moments, but overall, it doesn't make up for a lackluster film. I mean, what it comes down to, if you're going to tell a story, you have to have, or make a movie or make a, anything, you have to have a good story with good characters. And of course the characters were, you know, known characters from Grimm's Fairy Tale, if I'm not mistaken, but the story just wasn't there. It's like they didn't know if they wanted to make an interesting movie about someone becoming or a movie that kind of played off the old Hansel and Gretel story, and this really never knew what it wanted to be. And it's disappointing, because it should have been a home run. They could have really made it something fun and unique. So, as always, let's bury this, let's give it a rating. On a scale of 1 to 10, what is Hansel and Gretel? Hansel and Gretel is a 3 out of 10. It was awful. It was a waste of time. How do you go wrong? It should be a knockout of the park. But poor acting, virtually weak, no direction story, it just ended up being a film you don't want to see. If you do feel the urge to watch this film, I would say go and pay a couple dollars on YouTube, but I don't recommend seeing this in theaters because you'll be walking out going, huh, why did I watch that? Guys, thank you as always for your support, and as always, I'll see you soon. Noodles and I have traveled a long way to review this film. Well, not really, but still. He's really hungry. He wants to go inside and eat the old woman's food. I don't trust her. This isn't Golden Corral. He needs to relax. I was really impressed by the cinematography and the amazing score that came with this film. It was very artsy and beautifully shot with some bizarre imagery included as the film progressed. It reminded me of an A24 film, only it wasn't. This was a very dark and twisted version of the fairy tale most of us have known since we were children. It was a little difficult to tell where they were going with the story. I was okay with the film's pacing. I do believe the ending could have been a bit more stronger. There was something missing. But either way, it's one of those films that requires your full attention and nothing more. Sophia Lillis and Alice Cridge's performance were the standouts in this film. They were great. I remember Alice from Stephen King's Sleepwalkers. No vegetables, no dessert. Those are the rules, motherfucker. I do believe Sophia Lillis has a bright future in Hollywood. Sammy Leakey's delivery and some of the dialogue could have been better. But then again, he is very young. It is what it is. Despite how I feel about Gretel and Hansel, I did enjoy it. So I will say that Gretel and Hansel is all right, all right, all right. Uh, hey, are we almost done yet? Quiet.
it, child. I'm still narrating. Thank you so much for watching, Horror Freaks. I would like to thank Mr. Death Breath for being a part of this review. Be sure to subscribe to his channel. He's very passionate about the horror genre. His content is amazing. Have you seen Gwendolyn and Hansel? Let me know what you thought about it. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on my next video. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. And have yourselves a good fright. <laughs>